Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at Zoran OS 15.1 Ultimate Edition. So we recently looked at 15 Lite. Since then they've sort of had an update to 15.1 but I've also managed to get them to let me have a sort of play around with the Ultimate Edition. So I'm going to use it for a few days and then after those few days I'll do a full review. So at the moment we're just going to have a little look around and set it up for the use. So let's just sort of have a look at what it comes installed with out of the box. In fact, let's start with what makes this the Ultimate Edition, in fact. So it comes with a lot of stuff installed out of the box, but it also comes with its own sort of pre-configured desktop layouts, if you like. So at the moment, we're in this one here, which is kind of like a Windows 10 -y sort of environment, if you like. So you have your sort of menu here, and you've got your clock and stuff to the right here, and then you can pin applications from the bar and then launch them as such. So let's go to this one, which I think is a more classic-y Windows fill. We won't turn on locations. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay, I don't know what happened there. So, yeah, so you've got the um, sort of old style there. So you've got a Windows preview as well. Um, and then you'll have your bar here, and it's the same menu of categories. And then if we go into this one. Why oh, did it keep asking me for location settings? I'm not turning on my location. Okay, um, so this one, it shrinks your bar a bit, so it's not the full width of the desktop. And it gives you some sort of rounded corners. Your applications are in the middle. This kind of reminds me of Chrome OS. Um, so I use Chrome quite a bit. Um, and this sort of is quite like the Chrome shelf. And then if you click here, it will give you the sort of GNOME applications menu, um, activities overview menu of all your apps there. And as you can see, there is a lot installed that is not included in their core package let's go to this one again I don't want to turn on locations um, so I assume press that and then you have your favorites here I quite like how thin the top bar is in this one and then you get your desktop virtual desktop viewer there this one's meant to sort of mirror the Ubuntu look and it pretty much is the same to be honest um, again clicking that will bring you to your activities overview so your menu okay so your menu is now down here so it's the same sort of application launcher as the others let's cancel this one and then here is meant to be sort of the mac look and feel go away i'm not sure why that keeps happening i'd never really have location settings turned on so as you can see it's also moved the um, windows buttons like minimize and maximize to the left of each sort of application window so I'm going to stick with the default for now. I'm sure I'll change it by the sort of time the review's up. I want to sort of pray around with all of them really and sort of see what one I like the most. So let's go into the themes of the Zorin package. So I've already sort of set it to the blue accent colour and I don't know if that's the default. It might be and change a few things. I noticed that the f arc theme doesn't the arc theme doesn't fit very well so the menu cuts off a few of the dialog boxes so I'm going to have to stick with this theming and I actually don't mind that to be honest with you. So here you can sort of change the height of the panel which I am going to do because that's rather large. Let's take it down to about 28. That's too small. Let's try 32. That's a bit better. Um, sh nope, 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 nope. Um, should we move it to the top? No, let's leave it down in the bottom for the moment. Right. So, before I show you what's installed here, I'm just going to pop over to another screen here on the host on my um, desktop. Sorry, just recording with the capture card just to show you what comes installed out of the box on the core version. Um, so, let me just move my monitor screen out of the way. So, on the core version here, you'll get sort of the, you know the basics that you'd expect. Um, comes with GIMP and a few extra things. Firefox is your internet. Comes with the full LibreOffice suite. Um, sound and video, um, but you also don't get the the sort of the default desktop layouts. They're not included, so you get free. It comes with free. Um, the one that we showed with the um, sort of Chrome OS-y kind of look, and then one with the sort of classic taskbar look and feel. But there we go. So I'm going to switch back over to the other the laptop now, and I'm going to shut that computer down now because that's all I wanted it that VM open for okay so I'm gonna leave it kind of looking like this so let's just see what packages it comes installed with so hopefully I don't have to install too much that I use anyway so barrier I'm not too sure what barrier is I'm gonna try and get sort of in 
get a grip of all these programs really that I'm, I've not used before. So to do whether text editor, maps, key pass, and files, which is just Nautilus, I think. So it comes with a lot of games out of the box here, and a lot of them I've never heard of. So I will, I will play a few of them um, and mention them in the review whether they were fun or not. Um, graphics you get Blender, Dark Table, Dia, Document Viewer, GIMP, Hugin Batch Pro Processor, Calibrate Lens, Panorama Create, Inkscape Critter, LibraCAD, Shotwell, Synfig Studio. I'm not sure what Synfig Studio is. Okay, so it's like an image editor. Oh, I like this. I'll have to actually have a go on this and see what this is all about. There we go. It's a new program I've never heard of. So, okay. Transform tool. Right. Hmm. I'm going to leave that open and just see sort of what RAM it uses while we're going through and then I'll do a reboot and see how much it uses that boot. Internet it comes with Firefox. Life Life REA is the, oh, okay so it's an RSS reader that does podcasts new, and you can play the, ah oh, cool so you can play podcasts within this app as well, very nice, I wasn't aware of that program either. Office Calendar, Calibra, Contacts, Dictionary, Evolution, perfect. I use that. Focus Writer, that's nice to see. G Labels, GNU Cache, Home Bank, I'm not sure what that is. LibreOffice, Planner, Journal, Journal, External Journal, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, sound and Video, Order 5, Audacity, Brazero, Cheese, Green Recorder. I've not used Green Recorder before. Let's keep going. Handbrake. I think that's a um, like a converter. I could be wrong. Caden Live, perfect. That's what I use to edit these videos. So I don't have to go ahead and install that. Let's keep going. Kodi, it's included. OBS, perfect. We don't need to install that. Let's keep going. So it comes with Pit V Video Editor, Rhythmbox Video, and VLC as well. Okay, so it comes with quite a lot installed out of the box view, and there's a lot of stuff there that I've actually never heard of. So it'll be interesting to take a look at them when we do the full review. So I'm going to see what RAM we're using now. So we're using about 1.8 gig, and we've got a fair few things open. Um, so what I'm going to do is just sort of pin a few things to my favourites now. Then we're going to reboot and see what we're using at boot in terms of memory. Okay, so it's not letting me pin Caden live. That's a bit annoying. It's not letting me pin that either. Add to favourites. Add to favourites. So OBS does. Just Caden live doesn't. Oh, that does. Sorry. Um, and software store. I think it will just be the typical sort of. There we go. So then you could install your packages here, or you could just use the terminal as it's based on Ubuntu, so all your apt packages work. Let's do an update actually quickly. Haven't updated it yet, I don't think. <coughs> see if it finds anything. So it's got the Ubuntu Bionic repos there, but obviously it doesn't just pull programs from there because the GIMP package is, I think it's quite update, I think it's 2.10. So you get quite sort of up-to-date package there. Let's see what LibreOffice, I think 6.3. Discard. Discard, yeah. So I've already sort of opened up LibreOffice and I think it's 6.3 discard. Yes. Yeah, so it's um, they've already sort of enabled the ribbon view for you as well out of the box. So it does look very nice. So let's go to about. So we're using 6.3.3.2 on there. No. And um, that's your program switcher there. So let's just quickly pop that into favourites as well. Do a reboot. And then we'll see how much RAM we're using at boot. I've got a feeling it's going to be quite high because there's a lot installed out of the box. So I'm not expecting it to be very low. It um, starts up fairly quickly, actually. Um, I've not noticed any sort of long waiting times for boot. I've got it on auto login as well, so I'm straight at the desktop now. That wasn't too long. So let's go to HDOP. Oh, dear. So we're using 909. Um, it'll probably go down by about 60 or something like that while it sort of gets its bearings. But, yeah, so 850, 9, let's say 860 at boot. So, yeah, it's not sort of, you know, super lightweight or anything but then I wouldn't expect it to be uh, an ultimate edition 4.4 gig I think the Zorin OS l not light Zorin OS core is 2.2 gig or 
basically half the size of the Ultimate Edition. Right, I just want to see a couple more things and then we'll end the video there. So it's got snapping, yep, snapping's all done out of the box. I just want to go and see what their default keyboard shortcuts are. And then we'll sort of end the video there and then I'll be back with the full review in a few days. So let's go to devices. So it's the name settings here. Huh? Oh, details, we pressed the wrong button. Devices. And let's go to keyboard. So move workspace above they use super and page up where is page up on my laptop i don't think that's going to be very convenient so what we'll do is we'll change no oh, wrong one we'll change that just to control up for now and we'll change that to control down so let's just make sure that works there we go so moving to desktops there we go i do like the, the theme there it's very clean move window one monitor down one monitor to the left is the laptop i don't really need that at the moment move where's move window one where we go let's just do Control super down and we'll replace whatever that's got and we'll change it at some point. Control super up and we'll replace. Let's just make sure that's worked. Perfect. Okay, let's see what other sort of shortcuts we've got here. What are the screenshot shortcuts? Um yeah, they'll be okay. Oh, let's make sure all the keys are working as well. Perfect, yep. Yeah, all the keys are working as they should the laptop function keys if you like um, I'm going to change this because what I usually do is install Albert and then I use Albert for alt space so I'm not going to do that now but by the time I've got to the end of this review I'll probably be using Albert with alt space instead of like you know searching in the overview here but there yeah, so um, I'm actually quite excited for sort of this one as I said, I've played around with the um, the light version a tiny bit, but not not the ultimate edition. So I'm looking forward to this. So thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.